Saturday 13 November 2021, 3.30 p.m. Now the cat couldn't pee 100% earlier on this morning. I did give an injection and uh, I go and buy the non-fragrant cat litter and uh, you can see that the cat did pee on this non-fragrant cat litter. So that is good news. So I will not catheterize it for today. And hopefully that uh, with this bigger collar, e-collar, which the owner didn't use, the owner used a very small one, hopefully that he won't leak his uh, private parts and uh, causing inflammation. And hopefully that uh, with medication, his bladder infection will go down and the inflammation will go off so that he can pee on his own without having to be catheterized again. So the importance of this case is that the owner has to use the appropriate collar size so that the cat won't leak his private parts and also of course to use a non-scented litter and uh, follow with CD diet, not to acidify the urine. The cat has an alkaline urine, which causes bladder uh, urine stasis. That means holding up the urine without peeing and also infection by the bacteria. So let's see tomorrow. I'm not going to catheterize or anesthetize it, uh, him for the time being. And uh, we are seeing him at 10 a.m. tomorrow. It's 3.30 p.m. today. And of course, it's very upset when you touch him now. So I can't examine him now. But before this, before it pee, his bladder was suspect as an orange. So hopefully now that this is proved that he can pee on his own, I don't need to catheterize his bladder. End of this uh, case study for today.